this Christmas Eve forecast from Pat Pagano. Cloudy, some snow showers, and some sun today, 35 to 40. Cloudy tonight, 25 to 30. Tomorrow, Christmas Day, freezing rain and some light snow changes to rain showers, high 35 to 40. And Sunday will be cloudy with scattered snow showers, windy in the 30s. And Monday will be sunny around 40. We'll get the full details of that tri-state forecast coming your way in just a few minutes. Well, positive test rates in Connecticut are the highest since early January as the COVID surge continues heading into this weekend. The surge continues according to the Department of Public Health. The positive test rate hit 9.02%, which is only the third time in over a year it's exceeded 9%. The only higher days were in 2020 on December 29th and January 11th, 2021. The hospital count now is up to 837, and 75 more deaths have been attributed to COVID since last week. In Kent, the first selectman calls fund motions and oversight responding to criticism. In a story in the Republican American, first selectman Gene Speck resigned from the ARPA Needs Assessment Committee, and the board of selectmen agreed in a special meeting to rescind two motions approved last week to draw $36,000 from the town's ARPA funds. Speck sent a brief email resignation to Selectman Glenn Sanchez and Rufus Durham seven minutes before the meeting of the meeting. Sanchez later agreed the board's representative on the committee asking for a special meeting to discuss the Selectman's actions during a December 14th meeting. When Speck put forth two recommendations to spend up to $12,000 on purchasing and installing electronic equipment that would allow hybrid meetings to be conducted in town hall as well as up to $24,000 for emergency management expenses. Those votes caused Connie Maines, the chairwoman of the ARPA Needs Assessment Committee, to resign the next day. The board seeking a replacement for Maines, who declined to rejoin the committee. However, member Patricia Orris, who submitted her own resignation, said she would stay on the committee and continue to work that is underway. In Red Hook, they've approved short-term rental regulations. They've joined the list of Dutchess County municipalities with laws in place regarding short-term rentals. The town board unanimously passed a local law that limits the number of days hosts can rent out their space, requires permits when hosting, and specifies rules for what sort of renting is allowed in each zoning district. The law was passed after weeks of negotiation, public comment, and resistance from some of those hosts. Meanwhile, in Massachusetts, the state has ordered an admission freeze at a Sandusfield nursing home because of COVID. Because of the 19 cases, the State Department of Public Health ordered the admissions freeze at Berkshire Rehabilitation and Skilled Care in Sandusfield. Ordering that freeze, the spokesman said in an email that one of 17 facilities under the state mandated admissions freezes as of Thursday. They can freeze admissions when there's at least 10 cases of a facility or 10% of the staff or residents are diagnosed with COVID-19. Sandusfield facility has 50 57 licensed beds and is operated by Athena Healthcare Systems based in Farmington, Connecticut. Vaccinations that are coming up at Housatonic Valley Regional High School. Well, in January, January 7th at 3 to 7 p.m., January 28th at 3 to 7 p.m., February 4th, 3 to 7 p.m., and then February 25th, 3.30 till 7 p.m., all three vaccines, Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson, will be available, and boosters will be available. New York's governor signed legislation criminalizing fake COVID-19 vaccination cards. The new law makes it a falsification of cards and misdemeanor and creates a new felony of computer tampering in the third degree for intentional entering, altering, or destruction of computer material regarding COVID-19 provisions. End quote. That from the governor's office. The law comes amid a fresh tightening of rules requiring proof of vaccinations in cities across the United States, including New York, as the Omicron coronavirus variant has spread rapidly ahead of the Christmas holidays. drive through rapid testing is planned for Lee Sheffield ahead of the holidays. Berkshire County residents who want to test just ahead of the holiday gatherings can take advantage of pop-up drive through clinics in South County, Massachusetts. The Southern Berkshire Public Health Collaborative will offer free rapid tests for asymptomatic and symptomatic adults and children just ahead of Christmas and New Year's Eve. These are the dates and times in Lee at the Aldo Building, 45 Rail Street, December 29th and 30th, in Sheffield at the Bushnell Sage Library, 48 Main Street, from 8 to 10 a.m. December 30th. Advance registration is required with sign-ups at tinyurl.com slash msbab3at. 
Berkshire Health Systems will continue to offer PCR testing through the holidays. You can call 855-262-5465 to schedule that test. Salisbury the Town Hall will be, Town Hall offices will be closed on the 24th. The Salisbury Sharon Transfer Station is closing at noontime on Saturday the 25th. The Transfer Station and Town Hall closed. In Sharon, the Town Hall will be closed through December 24th all day. In Sheffield, the Town Hall will be closed. In North Canaan, on the 24th, the transfer station hours are listed as 8 until noon. They're closed December 25th and December 26th. Regular hours, December 31st from 8 to 4. And once again, a reminder, they'll be closed January 1st and January 2nd. They will resume regular hours. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgan's at the Interlaken. You can find a great menu plus their tapas menu. That's theinterlaken.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Instagram. And Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off today at 35,950.56. The Nasdaq at 16,653.37. And the S&P 500 at 4725.79. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.